A new shell for Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> oh, there's no orange. You want the yellow? No, thank you. And red? Mm -mm. Ah, orange! <laughs> to the beach to return all the different types of shells we can find back to the ocean. Doesn't that sound great? Remember, if you take care of your planet, it'll take care of you. Here's our eco-advice of the day. So the animals at the beach can continue to enjoy a clean ocean and we can continue playing in the sand. Be sure to do your part. Don't take any shells home with you and collect up all of your things after a day at the beach. Yes! Only leave fingerprints from your hands and keep the shells in the water and the sand!
Bee. We have to help the Queen Bee who's gotten lost. Without her, her hive will be in great danger. Let's go. <laughs> Your planet is in danger. Super cuties, we're, we're counting, counting on you. On you. <laughs> <laughs> There's the culprit. Huh? Yes, Sophie. But we can't fight with a container. <laughs> we have to look for the Queen Bee. It's very important that she doesn't go anywhere near plants or flowers contaminated with pesticides. She's so tiny that it'll be hard to find her. Oh, there she is. No, that's just a fly. Huh? Ah, there she is. No, huh? that's a fly. Huh. Another fly. Hmm. No, 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 no. It's a bee. It's the queen bee. Oh, no, but that's not good. Look, they just fumigated. We have to hurry. Sissy, supersonic <gasps> super pup. are Remember, if you take care of your planet, it'll take care of you. Here's our eco advice of the day. Little bees go from flower to flower, spreading pollen to help the plants to produce seeds and fruits rich in nutrients. In addition to honey. So, don't pick the flowers or bother the bugs. Even if they're small in size, they are doing a very important job. Yes! The moral of the story would be to be sure to save all the bees! One. But first, you need to recycle. Aww. You shouldn't waste so much paper. Come on, girls, mm -hmm. to the recycling bin. Yay! Girls, it's
it's time for class. I hope you've all recycled that paper. Did you know that when we make paper, we leave animals for their homes? Well, I'll explain it to you in class. Come on! Remember, if you take care of your planet, it'll take care of you. Here's our eco-advice of the day. Many years ago, there were almost twice as many trees on our planet. Many animals lived in them, such as monkeys and gorillas. Today, many of those trees are missing because they were cut down by humans to make paper or build houses. Don't waste paper and recycle it. Never throw away a blank sheet of paper. Yes! In order for us to breathe, we must take care of our trees! The city bird. Oh, but when does the birdie come Sissy, out? Sissy, I know that you really like birds, but believe me, this bird isn't going to fly. It's a pretend bird. <laughs> the cuckoo has reminded me that it's time for recess. Come on, time to play. I <laughs> Or this one. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. Huh? The little buddy is sick. We have to get to him right away. Super cute little hero. Super cute little hero. There's a better place to live. <laughs> Your planet is in danger. Oh. Super oh. cuties, we're, we're counting, counting on you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wasn't there a better exit? Come on, Sophie, don't worry. You still look pretty. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> The bird is up on the balcony. He's coughing because of the car exhaust. Mm. They should ride more bicycles in the city. Mm. But look, mm. he's not alone. He's taking care of those eggs. And in those eggs are babies. Then we have no time to lose. Let's oh. fly. Hello, my friend. We've come to help you out. I think that you could use a nice bath. Right, Kala? Exactly what I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> Don't you worry. I have another friend who makes really beautiful desks. Sophie, you think you could make one? You know me. I love to design. Hey, girls. How about if we take this bird someplace without smog? Yes! For clean air, the only solution is to prevent too much air pollution. Come on, girls. Today we're going to make a mural about modes of transportation. Do you know what vehicle contaminates the air the least? The bicycle! Good job, girls. Aren't these little ones just the smartest? Remember, if you take care of your planet, it'll take care of you. Here's our eco-advice of the day. Pollution is invisible, but the little birds in your city still notice it. Traffic and factories are causing more and more air pollution in the cities. To avoid this, you can do something super fun. Take more public transportation, ride a bike or a scooter. You'll have a great time. Yes! For clean air, the only solution is to prevent too much air pollution. More water, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fishy balloon is 
Sophie, don't get upset. They're not laughing at you. They're laughing at the fish balloon. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a fishy hey, balloon. A balloon. We want one Girls, too. there are more balloons in the cupboard that you could try to blow up. Ah, by the way, Kala, you can't fill them with water. I know that you love to do that, but we can't go wasting water. This is so much fun. <laughs> Wawa! Aw, poor little fishy. Come on, let's save him. Super? If we don't huh? hurry, the fish won't have any water left. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Your planet is in huh? danger! Oh. Super cuties, we're, we're counting, counting on you! <laughs> now I understand why our teacher said that we shouldn't waste water. The river is dying up! Oh, I'm going to get dizzy! I'm not good with these things! <gasps> Gala, you know that we can't do this without your help, right? I don't know if I'll be able to gather up enough water. Of course you will! We'll be right here with you. Oh! It's not one fish, it's whole fish families. They won't be able to hang on much longer. Oh, they're so cute. They have so many colors. Maybe we could keep them. We would take really good care of them. Believe me, the best place for them is the river. But a river that's in good shape. I can't fill this river all by myself. Girls, I need some help, please. Don't worry, Kala. Sissy and I will handle it. Sissy, let's go to the ocean to create some clouds and bring them here. Sounds like a plan. To the ocean. Whee! Uh. It's your turn. Huh? Supersonic Super Puff. Good job. Back to the river. <laughs> ah. hmm. I think this river needs a little bit more shade. I'll take advantage of the damp ground. Yes. Don't waste a single drop or the water will dry up. <laughs> Come along, girls. Today we're going to visit the river. You'll see how pretty and full of water it is. Hmm, and it used to be so dried up. Remember, if you take care of your planet, it'll take care of you. Here's our eco-advice of the day. Sometimes it doesn't rain as frequently as we'd like, and the rivers and the swamps where we draw our water from become empty. Water is a scarce resource. You can help by turning off the tap while lathering your hands with soap or when brushing your teeth. Don't waste water! Yes! Don't waste a single drop or the water will dry up! Creating a better circus. Sophie, look at the flower. It smells so good. Smell it, smell it.
circus. Hello, little ones. I'm Sissy Longlegs. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, it's a good thing you're wearing your cape. <laughs> What's that? I wonder. Don't worry, little friend. We'll get you out of here. You don't deserve to be in this place. <laughs> Sophie, super strong super vines. <laughs> oh. Just a moment. We're forgetting something very important. This metal cage is finally empty, but uh -oh. the show must always go on, right? <laughs> uh -huh. no! This is your home. Your family is waiting for you. Yes, animals have hearts and can feel. Loving them is ideal. Girls, we're going on a field trip to the circus. A circus without animals. Did you know that there are more and more circuses without animals? Remember, if you take care of your planet, it'll take care of you. Here's our eco-advice of the day. Animals aren't things, they're living beings. Dogs, cats, hamsters, Elephants, they all have feelings like us. Respect all your friends in the animal world. And if you have a dog or any type of pet, try to treat it with affection. They make great friends. Yes, animals have hearts and can feel. Loving them is ideal.